Karen Jeffrey Life. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today we will discuss memory virtualization and memory reclamation. Okay. So guys, now all of you are aware what is virtualization? Virtualization is the concept in which you can run multiple operating systems on a single hardware. Okay. So when we can run multiple operating systems on a single hardware, what do we call it? We call it as virtualization and guys virtualization has its own advantages. Okay. And the most important advantage of virtualization is the cost okay we save a lot on buying the actual physical hardware rather we can install multiple operating systems on single physical hardware now guys the question comes when we have many operating system running on a single hardware okay how the memory is managed by all the different operating system now in virtualization what happens we have multiple operating system which run on a single hardware and all those operating system they think they have full control over the hardware including the memory so they have full control over the system memory okay so how do we manage the memory on a virtual machine so all these things we will discuss in this video tutorial that is memory virtualization and reclaiming of memory and reclaiming of memory so guys for the full video all of you stay tuned now guys before we can start uh, discuss the memory virtualization to make it easier i would like to discuss some terms with you okay the first term we call it as guest virtual address guest virtual address so guys what is guest, guest virtual address now you know in virtualization we have a machine on that machine we can install multiple operating systems and those operating systems are also called as guest operating system so what is guest virtual address it is the virtual addresses used by the guest operating guest operating system then other than this we have something called as guest physical address now what is a guest physical address it is the physical addresses used by the guest operating system it is the physical addresses used by the guest operating system so let us call them as guest virtual address and let us call them as guest physical address now other than this the other term which comes and which is very important we call it as host physical addresses or we call it as h p a okay so what is a host physical addresses these are the actual physical addresses of the memory these are the actual physical addresses of the memory which are not virtual which are not virtual so we have a guest virtual address which are used by the guest operating system then again we have a guest physical address which provides the illusion to the guest operating system that these are his physical addresses then we have actual host physical addresses where your actual data is stored in the actual memory of the hardware on which your virtual machine is running now what is memory virtualization the memory virtualization is when we map the guest virtual addresses with the guest physical addresses and using guest physical addresses we map it to the actual host physical addresses what do we call it we call it as memory virtualization basically how memory management works in any operating system so you have physical addresses you have logical addresses the operating system maps the logical addresses with the physical addresses and then from that physical addresses we fetch the actual 
data okay now here in virtualization what we have we have guest operating system which have a guest virtual addressing and then we have guest physical addresses which are used by the guest operating system and then we have actual physical addresses of the host or of the computer on which we have installed the guest operating system so ultimately we need to match this with this and how do we do it we do it with the help of something called as memory virtualization okay so guys i hope what is memory virtualization i hope it was little clear to you and what is guest virtual address what is guest physical address and what is host physical address even these terms are little clear to you okay now we are going to discuss how do we do it not how do we do it but how a virtual machine translates a guest virtual addresses to actual host physical addresses so guys for memory virtualization there are two approaches which are followed by virtual machine so one is the software approach in software approach we use hypervisor to manage the address translation okay using a concept called as shadow paging using a concept called as shadow paging and other approach is a hardware approach so in hardware approach we use nested page tables or we use extended page tables so nested page tables are used by amd class of processors and extended page tables are used by intel processors so guys now we will discuss both shadow paging and nested page table hardware and software approach both one by one now guys let us discuss shadow paging so guys to make it clear i made this diagram okay so if you look at this diagram at the first time it feels a little complicated but actually it is not now i'll walk through with you with this diagram okay now we will study the software approach that is called as shadow paging now guys suppose these are our two virtual machines vm1 and vm2 okay now before we discuss this we discussed something called as guest virtual addresses guest physical addresses and host physical addresses so what is memory management it is mapping the guest virtual addresses with guest physical addresses and then mapping the guest physical addresses with the host physical addresses okay so how do we do it using a software we follow approach called as shadow paging okay now suppose these are our two virtual machines vm1 and vm2 and they both are running two two processors vm1 is running process 1 and process 2 vm2 is also running process 1 and process 2 and these are the pages which process 1 needs okay and these are the pages which process 2 needs and so on for virtual machine 2 so it needs these pages and it needs these pages okay now what our hypervisor will do okay first it will map these virtual addresses with the guest physical addresses so it will map this page with this page this page with this page and this page with this page so this is a virtual address page and this is the guest physical address page and similarly for virtual machine 2 again it will first match this page with this he this with this this with this so first mapping is done so what is the first mapping the first mapping is of guest virtual addresses with the guest physical addresses but what are guest physical addresses guest physical addresses are not actual physical addresses it is the illusion provided to the guest operating system that it is his physical address but in reality the physical addresses are somewhere else so where are the physical addresses the physical addresses are in the host physical address space so then what we have to do is the again the hypervisor needs to do another set of mapping of the guest physical addresses with the host physical addresses so these are the guest physical addresses where in reality they are stored they are in reality they are stored on the bare hardware on which the guest operating system is running then again there is a mapping performed 
What is this mapping? This mapping is between the guest physical addresses to the host physical addresses. So in this, it maintains two table. In this approach, the hypervisor has to maintain two tables. Okay, one is the guest virtual addresses table which maps to the guest physical addresses and it needs to create another shadow of it. So what the shadow will have, it will have guest physical addresses which map to the actual host physical addresses. And what this approach is called? This approach is called as shadow paging. This approach is called as shadow paging. This is a software approach where the hypervisor takes care of the mapping. Suppose the guest virtual address, it has three pages. 10, 20, 30 and it is mapping with the actual physical pages 5, 6 and 7. Okay. And again, we have virtual machine too. It has another set of pages 50, 60, 50, 60, 70 and they are also matching with the physical page of 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So it is the job of the hypervisor to keep the track which guest page is mapping with which guest physical page and which guest physical page is mapping with the host physical page. So what do we call it? We call it as shadow paging. Okay, how it works in shadow paging, the operating system maintains a shadow table, which shows the guest mapping of guest virtual ad addresses with guest physical addresses and guest physical addresses with host physical addresses first there is a mapping here between the guest virtual address and the guest physical address and there is another mapping of guest physical address with host physical address and what do we call it we call it as shadow paging in shadow paging guys the hypervisor has to do a lot of hard work Okay, so in case there is a page fault again, it has to rerun and reset the page table entries. It is too much work for the hypervisor, but this is how it is done using a software approach. And the next approach is the hardware approach. Okay, now what is the hardware approach? We will discuss in the next part. So guys, the next approach is the hardware approach. What is the hardware in this? We we add additional hardware which manages all address translation okay so for hardware approach depending from the machine to machine amd it uses nested page table and intel it uses extended page table okay but the basic concept of hardware page table is the basic concept of hardware approach is we have one page table which is maintained by the guest operating system which generates the guest physical addresses okay or which maps the guest virtual addresses with the guest physical addresses and then we have another extended page okay we have another extended page table which is maintained by the virtual machine which is used to map the guest physical addresses to the host physical addresses okay so basically in this approach we have more than one page table we have more than one page table for example we also call them as nested or extended page tables okay so we have one page table which will map the guest virtual address with the guest physical address and then we have another page table which will map the guest physical address with the host physical address okay so as the number of virtual machine increases as the number of virtual in machines increases we can add one more level to it we can add one more level to it so what we get is here we get a nested page table what is nesting which is when one page table links to another another to another another to another collection of page tables okay as the number of virtual machine increases 
you add one more level of page tables to it until you reach the actual host physical address until you reach the actual host physical address in this you have a pointer plus a displacement value then again which points to the next table and a displacement value and you get the ultimately in the end you get the actual physical address okay so each time each time a process is looking for a page the operating system uh, the page table hardware it goes through all the entries of the page tables it goes through all the entries of the page table until the physical address is reached okay so guys what do we call it we call it as hardware support for the memory management in virtual machines or we call it as nested page tables or we also call it as extended page tables so guys now we will study memory reclamation so till now what we studied is how the memory is distributed between the different virtual machines okay now after we have given them the memory we need that memory back also so that for the efficient utilization of our memory resources what do we call it we call it as memory reclamation okay how the memory is reclaimed in the virtual machines for example if one machine needs more pages and other machine does not need so there must be a mechanism of transferring that memory to the first machine which needs it so what do we call it we call it as memory reclamation so guys to study memory reclamation in virtual machines first we will study these three terms and why we are studying these three terms automatically the memory reclamation will become clear to you okay the first thing which comes is called as over commitment the first thing which comes is called as over commitment okay and the second one is deduplication and then we have ballooning first let us discuss what is over commitment okay so guys suppose we have total 32 gigabytes of memory so total we have 32 gigabytes of memory and on this memory or on this physical host i installed three virtual machines vm1 vm2 vm3 and each virtual machine have 16 gb 16 gb 16 gb so total physical memory which i have is 32 and total physical memory of all the three virtual machines combined is 16 plus 16 that is 32 32 plus 16 is 48 gb so what do we call it we call it as over commitment we call it as over commitment in over commitment the concept which we assume is that all virtual machines need memory but the all virtual machines do not need all the memory at the same time okay at one time this may need 8 gb and at one time this may need 10 gb okay so 10 plus 8 is total 18 and what and what time this may need 8 gb so it does not need all the memory at all the machines do not need all the memory at the same time so 8 plus 8 is 16 16 plus 10 is 26 so we allocated each of them 16 gb but at a time they all need total 26 gb okay so still which is far less than 32 gb okay so this way they all can manage okay so what do we call it we call it as over commitment what is over commitment when the combined memory of all the virtual machines is more than the actual physical memory the advantage of this is we can install as many as virtual machines as we want if our memory allows if our memory allows so this thing is called as over commitment okay so guys after over commitment 
the next term which comes is the deduplication the next term which comes is d d u the next term which comes is d d dupli no guys the deduplication is an optimization technique which is sharing the pages that have seen content in the different virtual machines okay so deduplication is another approach deduplication is another approach which can help with over commitment what it is saying it is saying if we have pages which have same content all those pages can be shared by the different virtual machines without having their own individual copies it will save our memory for example a linux kernel can be shared by all the virtual machines okay so without copying it to all of their physical memories so what do we call it we call it as the deduplication it is an optimization technique okay it is an optimization technique which helps in efficient memory management no guys no matter which optimization we use so there a situation may arise when we have virtual machine 1 and we have virtual machine 2 where virtual machine 1 virtual machine 1 does not need its pages does not need much of the pages and where and virtual machine 2 it needs more memory it needs more memory so then what happens now it is wise for the hypervisor to transfer some of the pages of virtual machine 1 to transfer some of the pages of virtual machine 1 to virtual machine 2 for the efficient memory management so what do we call it actually this thing is called as memory reclamation so what happens we have virtual machine 1 it does not need much of the pages okay the load is low it does not need much of its excess pages but at the same time the virtual machine 2 okay it is running out of pages so it needs more pages so then what the hypervisor should do the hypervisor should shift some of the pages from virtual machine 1 to virtual machine 2 okay so that the memory can be managed efficiently so that the memory can be anyway virtual machine 1 does not need them virtual machine 2 needs it so in the efficient utilization is move some of the pages from vm1 to vm2 okay now guys the question arises now guys the question arises which pages of virtual machine 1 should be shifted to virtual machine 2 now hypervisor does not have any idea which pages are important to virtual machine 1 okay it may take away some of the important pages of virtual machine 1 and give it to virtual machine 2 which will start causing page faults here okay so hypervisor does not have an idea what pages are important to vm1 and which pages are not important to vm1 so that the less important pages can be given to vm2 okay so guys to solve this crisis or to solve this problem the virtual machine okay they use a technique called as ballooning now guys what is ballooning so to explain ballooning for example we have two virtual machines vm1 and vm2 so what is ballooning a balloon module a balloon module okay is attached with each and every virtual machine a balloon module is attached with each and every virtual machine okay if more pages are allocated to one virtual machine then the balloon inflates for example if hypervisor allocates more pages or request for the more pages for virtual machine 1 it will inflate okay so if 
more pages are deallocated from a virtual machine if more pages are deallocated from a virtual machine then the balloon deflates basically what is ballooning there is a balloon module attached with each virtual machine if more number of pages are allocated to that machine the balloon inflates if the pages are removed then the balloon deflates now how ballooning works okay how ballooning helps us in deciding which pages to give away for the other virtual machine which are less important okay now for example in virtual machine 1 so the balloon is inflated means it has more pages allocated to it now since more pages are allocated to virtual machine 1 obviously so there are less number of pages allocated to virtual machine 2 so then what this guest operating system will do it will start deallocating the pages it will start deallocating the pages from virtual machine 1 which are less important and again the balloon will deflate so what will happen it will start deallocating the work pages okay so that they can be used by virtual machine 2 since the guest operating system is deallocating the pages so it very well knows which pages are not important to this machine automatically it will deallocate and those pages can again be reallocated to virtual machine 2 again those pages can be reallocated to virtual machine 2 so in this what happens instead of hypervisor deciding which pages to move from one machine to another by using ballooning it lets the guest operating system of one virtual machine decides which pages are less important and they can be moved to the virtual machine of another now similarly now at vvm2 okay so more pages are being allocated again the balloon inflates okay so then it may understand like it is taking more pages and there may be some other virtual machine which needs any pages so then again it will start deallocating less important pages and it will deflate the balloon and those pages can be moved to virtual machine one so guys i hope i made myself clear so this is how the memory is reclaimed in virtual machines okay so guys if you understand my lectures or if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading more and more topic related to operating systems system analysis and design and it subjects so guys all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned